fear to the outdoors. Today, I am doing something that I have never done. Uh, something totally new. I have loaded up the truck. We have got fishing poles. We have got rifles, hunting gear, some gifts. And we're striking off from East Mississippi all the way across Alabama to East Alabama. And we're gonna meet a friend of mine, Don Lanier. You've heard me talk about him and spent a few days hunting. Y'all, I don't know what we're gonna get into. It's cold weather. I've got more stuff and I know what to do with. Uh, for the sake of, I had to borrow a truck because mine ain't even got a good tag on it to go rambling off too far. And uh, so I didn't know how good a truck this was, but it's my daddy's truck and it had a good tag on it. And it's one that we kind of passed back and forth from the family. Gets fairly decent fuel mileage and such. And uh, so, you know, I put some a tarp and an ax and some rope, such as that under the seat. In case it breaks down this cold weather, I get out of a bind. Uh, but we going over here, we're going to spend a few days hunting, hunting some pigs, maybe some deer, might catch some fish. I don't know what we're going to get into. It's going to rain, be cold for the next few days. Uh, and I had got my potter caught up. So y'all hang with me. We on an adventure. They ain't no telling what is going to happen. And the videos, I don't know about uploading. So it's Wednesday morning. Uh, videos can get a little spaced out. And then again, I'm making... You know, some things come up, make it post the videos. So we'll just play it by ear. So I'm thinking about just knocking it out of gear and letting it loose in drag as we go down the hill. I'm just afraid the brakes ain't going to hold up. We'll see, though. All right, y'all, we over here on a mountain. Uh, yesterday, rained all day, a lot of rain, and uh, we didn't bother to come over here and hunt. We rambled around and thrift stored, but we fixed and take off on a hunt. We're gonna spend today's Friday, we're gonna spend the whole day hunting. Now this hill, it goes up at least a thousand feet further up right there behind me. And then it goes down, we not we closer to the bottom. And I'm guessing at the feet, it's it's a long ways on back up that hill. Um uh, this is a big mountain. We not far from Lookout Mountain. Uh so what I'm fixing to do is travel down this holler, follow this creek to a lodge that's around there, and uh we're gonna slip. Uh, Mr. Don done went around and we're gonna see if we bump deer over him and another guy and Slip the water's gonna be loud When we get on down there next to this creek, so I'm doing some of my talking right now But the benefit to that water is just gonna muffle my walking through these leaves, but now the leaves are damp It's cold temperatures dropped So I hope we got the 30 30 And we got it loaded up 100 I think we shoot 170 grain today. I am gonna try to do some filming with my chest mount. I don't, you know, I don't film a lot with a chest mount, but me slipping through these woods, I'm gonna pack this tripod up, and uh, we're gonna slip through there, and we might, you know, we're gonna see how this plays out. So y'all hang with us. We're gonna do some deer hunting today. You're gonna see some pretty country in this video. Y'all, I'm slipping down this holler right here. I got a mountain over here on this side. I got a mountain up here on this side. And I'm at the point where two of these streams come together and I'm gonna follow this holler down. So I'm looking for deer on both sides of these ridges. I don't know how to hunt this. The wind is at my back. Uh, so, but I have no choice but to go this way right here 
and y'all, I'm overwhelmed. I really am. I, I can't. An old boy from Neshoba County just just don't grasp what's what's really out there. Or I didn't. I know some people have been seen more than I have, but you know it's amazing. So I, this is a huge learning experience for me. This is some beautiful country. We're gonna slip right down through this, and I am, I'm just doing what I know how to do. We slipping right here from tree to tree, and stand by it, peep around it, and ease on down. I don't know how far I'm going. I'm gonna come out at a lodge down here where we're gonna cook some breakfast and dinner or brunch or whatever time it happens to be. We got all day to spend in these mountains right here on this mountain. It's one mountain but with several ridges and all, so. Maybe we'll see something here in a little bit. Well, this is a little precarious. It's a little ways down yonder, y'all. We're gonna slip around the edge of this ridge right here. And y'all, I'm not filming a lot of talking stuff, but I'm just kind of got up on the edge of this where I can see down in it. I can see that other hill. I hadn't seen nothing yet, so I don't know if they bedded down or if they may be up moving. So we just moving slow and easing around the edge of this ridge. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you, if a fella was to want to play marbles at a place like this, he better hang on to them pretty good because uh, if he drop one, it'd just be gone. <laughs> now look off down through there. Man, this is amazing. I have walked along this rock wall behind me. I'm slipping basically from tree to tree. And uh, I've come down the edge of this ridge. I'm fixing to work my way back down into this hollow. So uh, I'm slipping along, and I'm using this chest mount. I think I kind of like it. I don't know. I'll, I'll know more about it if I like it whenever I get the footage and start editing. Because uh, at this point, I'm just kind of filming. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'd like to kill something. But the trophy has been in the experience already. I have already won out just by getting to be here. This is for an old boy from the swamp to get to come here and hunt on the side of this mountain. has been a, an amazing experience already. The Lord has been good to this old boy. Look down through there, how pretty. Now y'all knew I wouldn't leave in the house without a fishing pole. And I done found me a hole of water, and I done got a bite.
Y'all, they got water up here you can see through. You can't see through our water at the house. Oh, I had a bite right there, y'all. Doggone, I missed him. They ain't wanting to just swallow it. They more trying to run and bait off, I think. But that's a deep pole. You see how far it is down that side? Now, well, it's probably about that far down that side. So I'm just kind of... We just decided we'd aggravate some fish right here. But I did want y'all to know that I hadn't abandoned fishing. <laughs> uh oh, he done got around something down there. Yeah, we got a little old bitty bass. Hey, hey. What y'all think about that? You don't want him, do you? We fixing to try some of these baits right here that Mr. Brent Armbruster made. We hadn't got to fish with them a whole lot and this looks like a good spot. We're gonna put this on here and tie a loop knot on it. See if I can get my knife out. My coat hanging way over. All right, that's what we fixing the fish with right there. This is a proper way to baton wood right here. right here is called a fro. If your interest is baton and wood, this is what you need to invest in. It will fit in your pack. Don't beat on your knife. <laughs> there ain't no need making it hard on yourself if you ain't got to.
can't see it. It lit then. We done cooked some hot dogs right here over the fire in this tub. Don had done turned me on to some Russian tea he makes. I'm telling you, it's fine. But we got, let this burn down over here to some coals, basically. It's still burning, but it's burned pretty good. We cooked over tin foil. We living a life right here. I came over here and introduced him to Mosby Sausage. I think he is a fan. I am a fan. Y'all, this is the coolest bag you'll ever see. Pack frame. All handmade. And we're not talking about something like these bushcraft stuff you see where they throwed it together. This is handcrafted. The axe is hung under the... I'm holding the camera over here and can't... And see how he's got his axe where it ties up here to the top. See, y'all know me well enough to know now I got to have one of them. So, today while we're hunting, we're going to find us one of these big forked sticks to when I get home, we can build us one. See how this forked stick is the frame. Very nice. Very nice. The, uh,
Mike near straight down right here. <laughs> but we down here at the bottom just that quick, just about it. Not quite to the bottom, but. We slipping along a road right here. I got my rifle in my hand. You can see off down. So what I'm doing is I'm just slipping along this road quietly, trying to see if I see something down in that bottom. These deer are bedded up today. Just not moving. There's not no squirrels moving. Nothing. So, so you can see I'm walking up. It's a good road. But there's a rock shelf right out here. All along this edge. We'll find a good spot. We'll walk out here and uh, stand on these rocks and look sit for a few minutes Wall, y'all, look out through there. Ooh, that wind is tough. They're gonna be laid on the other side of this field. Down there by the trees, huh? All right, we headed back up through here, around the edge of this hill. Don's back down over yonder. He went all the way around and he's on the other side of this valley. So we're gonna go down through these deer's bedded up. So I'm gonna try to go through here and push them because I enjoy walking and I'm in good enough shape. I can walk all this stuff. And I, I like to explore and experience new things. So I am sightseeing. I could care less if I kill a deer or not. It is about to experience and I am having a blast y'all. We are gonna slip right down there. Mushroom right there. See that? I ain't found a lot of mushrooms, but he says there's a deer bed back over here on this dome. So we're gonna I'm gonna shut up. Probably turn the camera off, but we're gonna slip right around through this. And there ain't no being quiet, y'all. It just ain't happening. So if we push deer out over him, this will win. So if I can, if they don't just run slam off, I'll get a shot at them. That is why we're toting the old 3030. So this is a Winchester for those of you that didn't know. Old gun. Hadn't been hunted with in over 30 years. So this is its second hunting trip in 30 something years. We settled in for the evening. I know the sun somewhat in y'all's face. I'm looking out across a holler. He's set up on the other side, kind of watching both sides of this ridge. And this is a spot that we hadn't even been in uh, today or this week. So we are 
we're gonna sit here for dark so we getting close to the end of the hunting video i'm not gonna sit here and film a lot unless we see something and i can get some footage of some deer but i will turn around and let y'all see what we looking at where uh, i got my gun propped up on the tree and i got my bag here with me so i'll mainly to haul my hunting but now this is a situation y'all to where if we kill a deer down in one of these hollows we're gonna have to skin him and bone him down there and i've got a couple of garbage bags and we're gonna pack the meat back out so it's you know because there's no getting the buggy down there and i ain't dragging no deer up this mountain i'm telling y'all now these ain't huge mountains like the rocky mountains or, or way on up in the smokies but i ask him this hill that we hunt it's like one big mountain that we hunting and i think it's it i think it's about 1100 foot from the very bottom of it to the top uh in the bottom of it i think he said it was around 600 foot above sea level so we had like 1700 feet something like that on the top up there now we not that high up right now it ain't but about 200 foot down to the bottom right here where we at maybe 300 i don't know it's it's good ways but i have really enjoyed this experience uh if i don't even see a deer which i have seen a couple deer we don't have any deer on film but i have seen like two or three deer as we was traveling around they'd run by or whatever but and this morning on the first pass i made i walked this long holler because i enjoy i wanted to walk and i wanted the experience of looking at this place and seeing what was here and uh i bumped some deer over another guy that was hunting he saw two does but now he didn't want to shoot a doe down in the bottom of that hill had to work you know he didn't need the meat so i have really enjoyed it i really have so far so Hopefully this evening as we sit here, we'll see something and uh, get a shot at something. I'd love to smoke one with this old 3030 up here on the side of this hill. Well, y'all, we've had a good trip. I'm fixing to head home. We ain't got to see no deer, but that ain't what makes a successful hunting trip. I've made new friends, several of them, in fact, over here. Uh, seen some beautiful country that old country boy from Neshoba County wouldn't get to see otherwise. And not only that, my truck is slammed full of stuff that Don is sending home with me as gifts. So we've had a good time, and uh, I have enjoyed. We've ate good. I've got to eat some trout. I'd never eat trout before, and they had to do some big trout fishing in the summer and fall so we may get to do that here in the later on in the year hopefully around september sounds like a plan wouldn't y'all like to see a trout fishing video that <laughs> will well mr don i have enjoyed it i appreciate your hospitality and letting us come over here and hunt and film and and I, i'm over here it's beautiful country y'all I, I am amazed at some of the things i've got to see and we seen some deer. Now, we didn't get them on camera, but we did see some deer. A few of them. Well, anyway. You are welcome anytime, Justin. Well, we, we are, we're going to show come back sometime. And, y'all, we ain't far from the Coosa River and everything right here. He do all kind of fishing over here. But uh, we may get back sometime on in the year. We got a lot going on at home. but uh, Maybe a turkey season. We're we going to try to get Mr. Don down to Mississippi this summer. He wants to hang some of them grunnel. Now, he knew about grunnel back in Florida. And that's how he found my channel. Is He said, okay, this fella really knows how to cook grunnel. So that's kind of how he <laughs> figured out and how I wound up here. But we're going to get him down there and put him back on some grunnel here this summer, hopefully. Hopefully in the spring we'll get on some grinnel and uh, uh, camp out on the on the swamp and uh, cook some of those grinnel while we're there. Y'all, we're gonna have a way to get around in the swamp. He doesn't. He give Brody a boat motor. <laughs> so we got a Yamaha boat motor that runs, so we can go fishing. 
Thank you, Mr. Don. Yes, I've enjoyed it. I Man, really it's have. Been fun. Thank y'all for watching the Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see y'all next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all.